It's quite and comfortable outside after another above a normal day with those temperatures. Today was the last day we'll be seeing that, at least, you know, through the end of the week. Maybe next week we'll get another bout of 90s. You never know down here. There's a look at the temperatures tomorrow morning in the 60s, and then tomorrow afternoon, that's when we start to see those rain chances and that onshore flow. I've had a 40% chance for rain and a couple of isolated storms tomorrow. It could help drop our temperatures back into the 70s pretty early. And then Thursday morning, I'm expecting us to be in the 60s as well for wake up. Right now, I have that a 50% chance for rain and storms. Not all of us are going to get rain tomorrow or Thursday. That's a reality of the situation. It's going to be widely scattered, so some of you guys might stay dry all through the rest of the week, while others might get a pretty rainy couple of days. We have this frontal system that's kind of stalling out and going to be bringing us those rain chances. Again, that's going to be Wednesday and Thursday for the rainiest. That's what I have on right now. But Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I am keeping some slight rain chances in the picture. You'll notice a couple of showers enter there towards those coastal areas. That's Saturday afternoon. And then on Sunday, we see a repeat of the same thing. So it's not going to be a washout. Don't cancel those weekend plans. But keep in mind, you could run into a couple of those showers. 40% Wednesday, 50% Thursday, and then you get that drop. And we'll see a little bit better conditions as we head right in time for the weekend. Rainfall totals over the next seven days are not that high, especially once you get to McAllen and Edinburgh West. We're looking at less than half an inch. It's coastal areas that are looking at one to two inches. These are just estimates, so it could be that, you know, Hartlingen does end up seeing closer to two inches, but the big picture is, as we usually see, Cameron will see on the higher end of the rainfall totals further inland, the lower and just make sure you're driving carefully. We get that water build up really fast. So if we do get a quick downpour, anyone is at jeopardy of seeing some of those water covered roadways and water pools uh, laying out in your yard. For tomorrow, quick look, 87 degrees near normal highs and that 40% chance for those showers and storms. That doesn't begin until afternoon. So we're gonna be clear in the morning. It's the afternoon, evening that we see the chance for rain. South Potter Island is not immune. You could get rain as well. So maybe hold off on those beach plans, plans at least until Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, where we have a little bit lower rain chances. In the tropics, same two areas of interest, 20% chance near Central America. That one, not a concern. Just going to be a rainmaker for those folks. And then we have what's going on out in the Atlantic. Now, this one's likely to become Nadine. And the big question is, does it turn to the north, or does it continue on and cause some issues for the Caribbean? 50% chance for development over the next five to seven days. For us, it's just these little rain and storm chances. I do think that tomorrow we're at that 40% chance, Thursday 50. Then finally, just in time for Friday Night Football, taper off to a 20% chance. Highs in the 80s.